Hey guys, you're watching Cooking is Everything, and today we're gonna be making the ultimate comfort food, and that is short ribs on a bed of mashed potatoes. Everyone is stuck at home right now, and we're all bored, we're all lazy, we're all eating the same things. So let's shake it up and let's make something delicious for our at home, for our family, and for ourselves. And that is short ribs with mashed potatoes. Let's get started. Now we're ready to start with our short ribs. They've already been cleaned, I've already cut them down. I salted them all last night, put them in the refrigerator. They've been brining since yesterday. And so now they're ready to be peppered and dredged. So let's get started. They've already been brined in salt, so you don't need to go too crazy now. And we're gonna dredge these. Now that the short ribs are all dredged, we're ready to cook all sides and we want to get them all nice and brown. So let's come over here, get our cast iron all nice and hot, we're going to put in some oil. You want to make sure you coat the entire bottom. We're getting our skillet nice and hot, it's oiled, it's ready to go. Now we're going to work on browning our short ribs. Listen to that sizzle of them short ribs, this is going to be delicious. It'll take about four minutes on all sides, but you really want a nice brown on all sides of your short ribs because that's gonna give you your flavor. That's what holds the short ribs together when we braise them later. All right, so now we're gonna flip these. All together to brown all the sides, probably about 10 to 12 minutes. You just wanna get them all nice and brown on the outside. And then uh, we'll get ready to start the braising process. I love making short ribs because it's a delicious meal and it makes you feel like home because that's what this is, home cooked meal. Once you brown all the sides and take them out, we're going to set them aside. That smells so freaking good. This is gonna go perfect on a bed of creamy mashed potatoes, which I have a video for. It's right here, so make sure you click on it that way you can get the recipe for making mashed potatoes to go with these delicious short ribs. All right, we now have our short ribs browned and now we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to move to one of my favorite utensils in the kitchen, the Dutch oven. First, we wanna get it hot. So about medium heat, sprinkle the bottom with just a little bit of oil because we're gonna put it in our bacon and we're gonna use the bacon to get the fat for the flavor because who doesn't love bacon? So throw the bacon in there. We're gonna let that bacon cook down, get it nice and brown, then we'll move on to the next step. Use wooden utensils, cause they're firm. Don't use floppy plastic utensils, they'll do you no good. I absolutely love bacon. If I could put bacon in everything that I make or everything that I do, it would be great, cause bacon is amazing. All right, so the bacon is starting to brown, getting the tips all nice and crispy. We're gonna now move on to the next step which is our celery, our carrots, and our onion and garlic. We're gonna just throw that in there. We wanna allow that to get nice and translucent. We basically wanna get it to where it starts to lose that really crunchy firmness. You're gonna hear me say browning a lot because that's, that's kinda like what signifies when flavor is starting to develop. A few pinches of salt. Pepper. All right, so this process will take about five to 10 minutes. Allow the aromatics to start to break down. It's at this point, we're gonna heat our oven to 350. Now that our aromatics are where we need them, we're gonna squeeze this entire tube, four and a half ounces of tomato paste into our mixture, and we're gonna mix it up. So this is what's gonna give us our primary base flavor, is this tomato paste. Once we've added all that into our mixture and get it all mixed up, we're gonna move on to the next step, which is to add our liquid. Well, at least one of our liquids. Normally I use red wine, but today, I'm gonna use an Imperial Stout beer. 
This one is from Lakewood. It's called the Temptress. Pouring the entire bottle, don't worry about it. Cheers it up. This is a very bold flavored stout. It's got very deep notes. It's delicious. It's a sweeter beer. If you like stouts, especially imperial stouts, it's a great beer. I love it. It's one of my favorites. So we're going to allow that to reduce down, cook out the alcohol, and then we'll move on to the next step. Cooking out the alcohol takes about five to 10 minutes. We just want to reduce it down. Basically, we're going after the flavors that's in the beer, not the beer itself. Now that we've reduced down the beer, got the alcohol cooked out, we're gonna add our herbs. A bundle of thyme and a bundle of rosemary. We're gonna put that there, right in the middle, because we're gonna take that out once it's done. Then we're gonna add back our short ribs. You can already smell the rosemary and the thyme, and they just barely put them in there. One last sprinkle of some salt. It's really up to you on the salt. And of course, some more pepper. And the last ingredient that we're gonna add is beef broth. We just want enough beef broth to cover the ribs. That can be anywhere from one and a half cups to two cups of beef broth. We're gonna allow this to come to a boil, then we're gonna cover it, and then we're gonna get ready to stick that in the oven. Now that we're at a boil, we're gonna cover it up. We're gonna place this on the middle rack in the oven. We're gonna let it cook for three hours. In the last 30 minutes, we're gonna take off the top. So, now you can step away and do whatever you want for three hours. Bada boom. So that smells really good. We took out the bay leaves, now we're gonna take out the ribs. So we're gonna take out the remaining herbs. We're gonna add some butter to this, get a little sauce, and we add the ribs back to it, and then we're ready to plate. Now that the butter is all melted, we're gonna add the ribs back in, give them a little glaze, and then they're ready to be plated. You can see how hearty the carrots are. We got it plated, we got our mashed potatoes. We're ready to dig in. Falling apart. That's the whole point of braising. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is really good. You can taste the richness, the nice fatty parts of the ribs all in there. Mm -mm -mm. The sauce gives a great touch with the carrots and the creamy mashed potatoes. That is amazing. I cannot stop eating it, it's so good. <laughs> Short ribs, creamy mashed potatoes. It's a great comfort food for at home, for your family, for your friends. Now that everyone can start somewhat getting together a little bit at a time, this is a great meal to make for people that you care about. It's delicious, it's good. It does take time, but it's worth it. So remember, the love that you put into your cooking is the love that you're gonna get out. And this is amazing, so there's a lot of love in this. It's gonna be great. If you like the video, please, please give us a like. Put some comments down below if you have any questions or if you want to tell me anything, that, any comfort foods that you like. You know, what are you eating at home? What do you guys eat? Let me know. Maybe I can make it. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Let all your friends know. Tell them to like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe notification button. Click on cooking is everything so that way I can continue making these videos for you guys because I'm here doing it for you. So I appreciate you watching, and remember, the love you put in your cooking is the love that you're going to get out. I'm JC3, and you've been watching Cooking is Everything.